So I'm back here where I installed the wood plank wall at my sister's house. Her husband has been a pilot for over 30 years and has this propeller. He wanted it to go on the wall and we figured out a good way to do that. He's piloted many different aircrafts and uh, he recently acquired this really cool old propeller and he wanted a way that they could mount it on one of their walls. I agreed to help them by creating a mount, a nice looking mount that they could have this as a showpiece in their home. Some of the challenges in this project include the weight of the actual propeller. I'm guessing it's between 50 and 60 pounds, so it's pretty heavy to put on the wall. He has the original bolts that he wants to bolt into it. And uh, the wall that it's going on is one that I actually did. If you haven't seen uh, that video about how to do a wood plank wall, I'll link it here. It's a much darker wall, so in order for the uh, propeller to kind of stand off of it, we're gonna use a lighter color wood. And one of the other challenges is a way to secure it that will span across multiple studs. I want this to go into at least two of the studs on the wall. I'm probably gonna end up having to make the mount much wider than I wanted to originally, just so that I could make sure to hit two studs. I've got some eight quarter maple that I'm gonna use for this project. I think the light colored maple will look good against the dark wall. As you can see, this board has a pretty decent cup in it right here. I started out at the planer, just taking some of the high spots off. Then I shimmed it up on a piece of plywood to make one side flat. Here's something to note. Be sure if you do this to make sure that the plywood base is at least as long as the workpiece you're trying to flatten. The ends of my workpiece were hanging off of the end and it started to make a banana out of the piece. Luckily, I caught it in time and added some pieces on either end for support. Then I cut the mounting board to final dimension. The original plan was to have this propeller sitting at a 45 degree angle to the mounting board. But upon looking at it, I'm having to make this mounting board this wide so that I can make sure to catch two studs. There's basically one right in the center and there's one 16 inches over this way. But I, I don't think it'll look good, you know, if, if it, this isn't centered on the mounting board. So when I did this at 45 degrees, it was too much angle. So I brought it back down a little less of an angle and I think it looks much better that way. I drilled out the holes for the bolts that will hold the propeller to the mounting board. I want to be able to put a French cleat on the back of this thing, but I don't want it to show from the sides. So I'm actually gonna use the router with a three quarter inch straight bit in it to just hog out some material enough so that the French cleat can sit flush inside the back of this mounting board. I used a chisel to clean up a few of the places I missed with the router. Now with this all hollowed out, it has the ability, it looks kind of rough, but it doesn't really matter. It has the ability to put a French cleat inside of it and it will sit flush with the wall. You'll never even be able to see how it's hanging on the wall. So now I'm going to create the French cleats for both the wall side and to attach here. I added a chamfer to the front edges of the mounting board. After that, some sanding happened and then I added a few coats of spray lacquer. Often I will countersink screws pretty deep into where they're going, but as you can see, even with inch and a quarter screws, I don't have much uh, room here. So I'm gonna just put them at the surface so that they don't poke through the front side. Looks like I got 11. 
We secured the propeller to the mount with the original bolts. Here's where we hit a snag though. The piece didn't want to seat into the French cleat. Come to find out, I accounted for everything except where the bolts went through. They were hitting the cleat that was on the wall. I wanted this cleat all one piece, so this was posing a problem. I ended up just getting a Forstner bit and hollowing out some of the mounting cleat from the wall so that the piece could sit flush against the wall. Cool. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. If you would, please click that thumbs up button that tells YouTube that you like the video and they will help my channel grow by showing it to more people. Also, if you're not already, subscribe. Click the notification bell so that each time I upload, you'll see it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.